Liverpool is preparing to announce its collaboration with iconic footwear and apparel brand. Converse as part of the next phase of its retail partnership with Nike. Converse is owned by Nike and has existed as a lifestyle brand throughout its 115-year history. Its most notable line is the Chuck Taylor shoe line, which has been a strong part of urban culture in the USA for decades. A short clip featuring Andrew Robertson, Fabio Carvalho and Shanice van de Sanden was released on the Liverpool and Converse social channels on Monday, but the partnership is not expected to officially launch until later this week. Read 5 signings that could give Jurgen Klopp his dream Liverpool summer transfer window read. FSG's next move may boost Jude Bellingham's hopes despite Real Madrid threat this is the latest. Move between Liverpool and Nike expand their reach to different demographics and appeal a wider audience who are not Reds or actually football fans but are fashion culture fans. It comes just weeks after announcement a collaboration with basketball icon LeBron James. Nike Reds and partner of Liverpool owner Fenway Sports Group won the most recognizable athletes on planet working on a unique apparel collaboration with the club and Nike, with whom he had a lifetime deal. Details on what kind of products will be produced in any Liverpool and Converse collaboration are not yet known, but by aligning themselves closely with such a well-known global brand, they continue to aid Liverpool's quest to become a lifestyle brand when the time comes. Sell Retail Paris Saint-Germain, also a jersey partner of Nike, has been pushing do the same in recent years, signing partnerships with Nike's subsidiary Air Jordan to provide some jerseys and products that appeal a wider demographic. They've also opened a flagship retail store on New York's famous Fifth Avenue, and it appears that Liverpool is considering expanding its physical retail presence in the United States in the not-too-distant future. Finding ways to maximize the relationship with Nike is an important tactic in continuing to increase business revenue streams at the club. The Nike deal, which began 2020, provides for U.S. sportswear giant to pay Reds a flat annual fee of around £35 million. And real value in deal lies Reds 20% from sale of Nike Liverpool branded products goods globally. This is expected to bring the total value of the deal closer to £70 million a year. Connecting Converse is another move that brings Reds and the NBA closer together. With Converse having its own official affiliation world's premier basketball league, and with Liverpool already forming strong ties through their relationship with James. Further strengthening that relationship can pay off when it comes to appealing to a new audience. There are some interesting themes around all this. In terms bringing the two sports together to create a broader theme of innovation and new ways to connect fandoms, said Neil Joyce, CEO CLV Group, a company that works with sports teams to help them unlock value to their wider fan base. What specific is that we believe cross sports pollination among fandoms not only a good way to innovate around the physical stadium and maximize revenues, but also by unlocking new audiences in new markets. In our Fry report, we found that 70% of NBA fans have a great affinity for European football teams so if you want to increase the presence of NBA teams in Europe, European football clubs would be a good starting point to do so and the reverse is also true. What about young viewers who love Liverpool but also love the NBA? What are the opportunities out there to open up these new viewers?